Well, I'm working out here at night, so there's a couple things I also want to bring up. I've got all these overlapping in all these different ways, and I've taken three bottles of super glue and I've run down. Completely just running this down. Did it everywhere, even in between. And where the fibers connect, see this is hard. That's what I want. I want this to be a solid piece. And this is super thin fiber tape. But anyway, I went down every bit of every where that touches a coil and where it crosses in between the coils where there's actually space where the coils come out a little farther. This is very important. You want this to be nice and solid. I don't know if it's ready yet. Not quite yet. But anyway, while this is drying, it's a good thing to turn the light off and turn it away from it so you don't wind up with bugs on it. The bugs will land on it and the capillary action of the super glue will come up and just make that bug hard. And it's like having a nail sitting on top when you do your form. Make them nice and flat because basically you're not going to get them off of there. <laughs> uh, maybe you might get the body off and leave the legs. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back. Uh, I guess this concludes this part. I've been straightening these wires. When you straighten one of these wires you want to hold your finger down on that thing and pull that wire down, move it anywhere you want. If you've got one that wants to sit up above the coil, hold it down where it's still snug, press down, you'll notice that it'll want to spring back up. Move, hold it down, press it down over here, and move it back and forth like this, and then, then you'll find out it'll lay down flat. Because basically it wants to spring up. So this one here is round, rounded up above the top, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. She's a lot closer than she was. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. We kind of left you in the middle of having all just these outside ones on here. I used three tubes just doing the outside here. And now we got these. These are going to suspend across here. When it's all dry, I should be able to lift this right out. Basically, make sure it's tight here. Run down the rows with just a light bead of it. And you can tell the difference. You'll start to see that it gets kind of clear and actually looks wet. A good little coating. The centers of these coils, I'm going to uh, cut them out. This is going to be released from this middle point there before we do the casting. But for now, it's just an easy way to take it out. I'm going to flip this over when I'm done doing the wiring and put some, uh, some of this on the other side. This is a little flimsy, but it holds together. Run down each of these little holes here. I'm going to try to, as soon as I'm not doing the full surface of the top like I did with these ones that came across here, I'm just worried about what's connecting to the center. So I shouldn't need all that much. One other thing I wanted to point out, this uh, start wire, which comes out of the middle because that's where you started, comes out of the middle of the coil and then goes onto the outside. Now this wire is right at about an eighth inch thick. Rather than have a bunch of uh, polyester resin flowing outside my form, instead of going with the half inch plywood, I'm going to go with the five eighths inch plywood, making up for the thickness of this right here. This is kind of loose. If you lift this up, press down on here, move this back and forth a little bit, this makes this wire stick to the side of the, the coil a lot better. Anyway, I'm going to let all this dry. I might put a little bit more over here, get these tops of these. The next uh, shot, I'll be doing the wiring on this. I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and other home energies. Many good things to you and yours. As I was saying before, now we can pick it all the way up, turn it, position it any way we want. One done, a little slice here. This peels off so easy. And wax it, set her down in less than a minute. No time lost. Nothing like uh, positioning your coils while that resin is trying to harden. Not good. This is all set up so we can do all that fast. Also, this also keeps these coils from moving in conjunction with each other. So I can wire them up and do it right. I said I was going to wire. This is part of the process of wiring. Part of the casting process it is part of the wiring. I know a lot of this stuff is tedious and it takes a little while, but basically nothing hard about it. Anybody can do this. Anybody can wind that coil. Anybody can design that coil if you saw everything I did. I'm going to get back into wiring on this. I'm going to wire up a couple of them and then I'm going to come back because, like I said, it takes a long time. I'm not going to bore you to death on the camera. I'll show you a few connections being done. Okay, sorry for the long shot here. Anyway, what I've, what I've done is I've straightened a lot of the wires by holding them down, then pulling them and getting the kinks out of them, rolling them. I shouldn't have rolled them up as tight as I did on some of them, especially like this one here. Um, but basically, once you do that, you want to take it all the way over to about the center of the coil on the other side and cut it, because that's going to leave you just enough room to get over here. Don't worry, that's not the, all the wire you have. You also have uh, the 
like this is your start and that runs over to here this one here has a start and it's going to it's going to be long enough to reach over here this one's going to be long enough to reach over here but when you get them you bring them together and you want to leave yourself about about an inch to play with and cut one uh, cut the one from over here and the one from over here then we're going to sit there and put heat on them uh, like a flame and burn the insulation off sandpaper them and then we're going to put these together if I can find my heat shrink, I will. Other than that, I'm not going to worry about it because none of these connections are going to be in the same spot. I want to keep them away from where these are going to mount. All right, what I've done here is the, the one coming from the inside is the start. And that's coming out over here. I've got it up against the coil and i got it running out here to lug number one, which is going to be the start for number one for the first phase. Then the start for the second phase comes over here and over here. Then the start for the third phase. Let me get out of your light. The start for the third phase is coming all the way over to here and I've got these laying down pretty good where I pinned them down moved them back and forth while I laid them down that keeps it nice and flush with the bottom in order to keep these out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and use some aluminum foil tape because it sticks so good hold them down I don't think I'm gonna have to have a problem with them for a while Anyway, so I've got off. these bent over. This this is phase one because it's green. L phase one coming here. That's the start. I'm going to take the finish and I'm going to run it around all the way over as far as I can go here. And I'm going to take this start and put it to it. And I want it to connect dead center between these two. Then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Usually you wire up your first phase. Then you wire up your second phase. Then you wire up your third phase. And that key saves a lot of confusion. Now what I'm doing here is I'm starting here with one. This one's going to come around and I'm going to stay as close to this coil as I can. And I'm going to hook this wire and this wire together. The finish and this is the start. The start heads up to the finish. Okay, so I've take, taken the finish wire and I've run it all the way over to here. And I'll show you part of the technique that I used. I might as well do it with this. This is, remember this is green, this is green, that's why I colored them all so I can figure out and not get confused. I do not want to get confused in the middle of this. So taking a stator apart after you've casted it is not very easy. It requires a lot of chiseling, a lot of time. Alright, I've bent that down and I'm going to kind of bend it over to the side to get it as close to this coil as I possibly can. Holding this down with my thumb, I'm going to bend this wire as I pull out, then I'm going to bend out as I pull. I'm going to bend it this way, then I'm going to bend it this way, this way again, like that. Bend it where it wants to do curling up. Like this again. And I'll kind of just put just enough bend to get it straight. Then I'm going to do it like this. Reason being, it'll curl that way. Hold this down, press in. And we should have it. And that's pretty close to where I can wire it right over here, or I can wire it right here. Thinking if I ever have to change a coil, connecting it real close to it up here would probably be a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and do them this way. This one I'm going to leave long. I'm going to go about a half inch, clip it here. This one I'm going to kind of pull tight. And I'm going to give me just a little bit more because my po my uh, anchor post is going to be here and I want to push these inside to where they meet up here. Hello, I'm Scott Brown with Green Wind and Other Home Energies. As you see here, I have a 1A. Over here, I have a 1B. And a 1C. I label all the green ones as with a 1. Next one, this is 2A. Oop, there we go, 2B and 2C, and of course 3A, 3B, and 3C. Now that helps uh, to keep from getting messed up on the coils. All this little section inside here, as you can see, has light behind it. And that's because the light's going through. This mesh is going to get cut off anyway. So anyway, the uh, L1 comes out of here, goes over to the terminal. And that's the start because it comes from the inside of the coil. The finish follows all the way around over to here. And you can see I cut a V in and I've got the wires wrapped 
right here. I twisted them lengthwise and then bent it in to get it away from this. I might go with the 14 inch circle instead of the 15. And that's the start to 1B. And this is the finish to 1B, which I'll show you here in a minute. I'll go ahead and wire, pull it over on camera and get it all set up. I could not find my torch or uh, the Dremel bits with the sander on it, so I sit there and just get all the insulation off. So I've been scraping it off all the way around and then soldering it. 